Hi there. In this video, I'm going to try and cover up how to split a bank feed entry into multiple transactions. Uh, we have an example here where there is a $40 uh, withdrawal and it's for both dinner and cash out. So what we want to do is we want to split $20, uh, $20 as dinner and $20 as cash. So we need to make a decision as to whether we want to use a purchase invoice or whether we want to journal out uh, these transactions. In this instance, I will demonstrate both and it's up to you and your accountant to, to um, identify the best, uh, the most suitable um, method to record this entry. So, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a journal entry and I'm going to say um, the first part is an expense, which I will choose as um, entertainment. I'm actually not going to select 40 because I only spent $20 as part of the entertainment dinner. And the, the other 20 will go to my petty cash account. Okay, so now you can see that we are crediting $40 and debiting $20 into both an expense and an asset account. And when we hit create journal entry, that will match the, uh, the bank feed to two journals. So we can click view journals. And then we're just going to scroll down to 3rd of July. Here we are. And just confirming the details are correct. So once we're happy with this, we either save and close or close out of this journal entry. The other option is coming back to the $40 amount again, create two purchase invoices. Now let's just double check first if we have already created invoices or not. So I don't think I would have marked the invoice as paid yet. So I'm going to look under unpaid purchases. I'm going to find 3rd of July and I can see there's an amount for $20. If I hit the um, edit button, that will show the dinner portion of it. Now what I need to do is I'm going to do a separate invoice. So I'll simply, just to save myself a bit of time, duplicate this invoice because the date range, but we will need to reselect the date range. And I'm just going to change the description to the account I'm going to choose as an expense and I'm going to choose sundry expenses. As usually in a purchase screen, you don't have the ability to choose from your asset accounts. So just make sure that um, you clarify the correct asset or expense account you need to be posting this to. Okay, so we can then save and close this invoice. And just remember that both invoices were not marked as paid. Therefore, we will use the unpaid purchases uh, search field and we should be able to locate these two invoices. Okay, so we'll select both. And once we're able to receive a difference of zero, so that's giving us the go ahead to reconcile. And we'll just select that. And the item has been reconciled. So if we go back to our purchases screen and look at paid invoices, we should be able to see the two and if we bring up their invoice information we can see that the payment has been registered but if we hit the edit button you will see that it will be registered as two lots of $20 because that was the, the way that we had matched the transaction in bank fees. So that's fine so we won't need to make any changes and we can just close out of there.